Hey everybody, once again we are in round four of the water comparison video series and we're going to compare these three bottles of water. And this is a video I am not looking forward to doing because these are all three very good waters. This is going to be a very tough comparison, but at the end of this video we're going to determine which one of these is moving on to round five. So, I've already done several videos about each of these bottles of water, so if you want information about them, go back to the previous videos. This video is just going to be mainly a comparison between the three. So, let's just open them up and uh, start, you know, doing a taste test comparison. First up is Le Bleu Ultra Pure Water. This is vapor compression distilled water from North Carolina. The bottle is very similar to Termuline Spring Water. They both have a rounded off top. I think they have identical lids. I think all three of them actually have possibly identical lids. So let's open this up and see what it's like. I'm very thirsty and this is a lot of water, so here we go. It's very good. This is like the only distilled water that I like. Um, I don't I don't know why. Like theoretically distilled water should taste all the same because it's just pure H2O. For some reason, this one tastes better. It probably has something to do with the bottle. I don't know. Next up is Iceland Natural Spring Water from Iceland. This water has a high pH level of 8.88, and this is from a remote island near the Arctic Circle. This is a very big bottle. This is one and a half liters. So here we go. It's a good water. Like, I'm still... I feel actually fine right now. If that was a cheap water, I would feel sick. But because this is good quality stuff, I don't feel, like, sick or, like, I'm going to throw up or anything like that at all. Icelanders are, um, one of the longest living populations. They live to a pretty old age. And some of them believe that... Excuse me. That their high quality water has something to do with that you know I haven't read any scientific information about that that's just something that they personally believe next up it's tourmaline spring water this is from sacred living water this is bottled at summit springs in Maine and this is from a naturally occurring geothermal spring it's not from a hot spring it's just from a geothermal spring and term Tourmaline is a gemstone, and that is what the uh, the logo is. It's kind of a neat logo. It has like a reflective metal coating to it. If you look at the inside of the bottle, it's also reflective on the inside. And let's open it up and do a taste test. This is going to be so tough. This is going to be so tough. These are all really good. Tourmaline Spring is, I think it's actually the same as Summit Spring Raw Water. They they might have just rebranded it a couple years ago. In, the, in my earlier video, I said it's similar to it because it's bottled at the same source. I think it's actually the same thing. These two waters are both from the same store. They're both from East End Food Co-op. And um, it's kind of like a Whole Foods type of store or like, you know, hipsters shop that has a lot of expensive, like, organic foods. And, you know, I want to say it's overpriced, but two of their waters, out of all the waters I reviewed, two of them from that store made it to, to round four, so... There's actually something to it, you know, as far as the taste goes. Okay. 
So I need to go back and forth. This is going to be kind of boring. But this is why I love doing it in this style. Because if I was doing these individually, it would be much harder for my memory to actually like remember the water I viewed in a previous day. But once since they're side by side, it's much easier. I hate doing this. They're so they're all really good. They're all really really good. The La Blue Water is from a sure save IGA store. It's kosher certified. I don't even know what that means really, but it says that on the bottom. And I think this is going to be the first one that I eliminate. And I think the main thing is there's this video on YouTube. I talked about it in the previous video, but a guy just shows an, an unopened bottle of this and he shows something floating around inside of the bottle the blue like their whole marketing thing is just how pure they are they're just pure h2o there's nothing in there they say they're pharmaceutical grade but then there's this video where there's like something floating around in the water and that just makes me not trust the blue it's possible the guy on youtube just faked that video just for views but it doesn't have that many views it only has like a couple hundred views if i remember correctly but anyway that's one of the main reasons. It's it's a great tasting water. And this has one of the best values out of the three also. But I'm going to eliminate this. Sorry, LeBlue. Drow. So it comes down to these two. I don't particular, particularly like either of these bottles. Um, this one has... This one is too big, first of all. Like, it's too small to pour into a cup and then drink. But this is too big to, like, carry around with you all day. Just, I don't know. Just my opinion, I guess. And it's weird how there's, like, random dents around the top of this. I don't really like this bottle. Um, so I don't like that. The Turbulent Spring... What does it have to do with a gemstone? I mean, it's it's nice that it's reflective and stuff, but what does water have to do with gemstones? I don't I don't really get it. But these reviews are not about the branding; they're about the water that itself. Okay, it all comes down to this. I'm going to say that the winner is Turbuline Spring. It's so close. This is one of the closest review comparison videos I've done. It's like microscopically close. This one is just a tiny bit better. I guess the combination of like naturally occurring minerals, there's something in it that is just a tiny bit better. And... You know, I've been saying nothing but good stuff about Summit Springs um, since I first had it, and it's, it's really good water. So congratulations, Termuline Spring. You're moving on to the next round.